the day has arrived so I'm up now ready to go shortly maybe in an hour so I'll be leaving it's come <laughs> finally ready I've been I was up quite awake quite early I think quite a lot of my mind kind of thing starts happening but um yeah kind of feeling ready to go you're never quite ready in a sense you there's always like you could sort this out could take this more time or you know it feels a bit of a rush or you just you know a bit of the odd worry comes up um how am I going to do this? What's going to happen with this? That kind of thing. And you just kind of... Whew, that's the whole point of this. I just feel ready though. It's different to before. Though. I do feel ready to go with the flow. But I've been kind of uh, here and in one place for so long. Whereas I used to travel a lot before. It's kind of different now. But I've done a lot of crazy things in the past. So this probably won't be the craziest. So yeah. <laughs> but on a spiritual level, it's different. Like, I'm really just going out and finding my way truly in the world this time. I was kind of searching before in a way. Now I feel clear enough to just make the right decisions and uh, embrace life fully because I've embraced myself fully, so to speak. Here's to getting a lift to Dover. My mother's offered to give me a lift. She's going to give me a lift to uh, probably a, a decent service station on the M4. So like I say, I'm moving from South Wales here now. Maybe find a truck or even a car and head in for Dover will be the ideal. And I can get on with them and see if I can get on for free. But Because um, you can go as a, if you're as a passenger. You don't pay, you pay per car kind of thing. So if someone will let me go on with them, I'd have to be a foot passenger kind of thing. And it adds to the kind of challenge, the excitement in a way. So see if I can do that. And if all goes reasonably smoothly, so to speak, goes quite quick, again, lifts quite quick, then I should be in France this evening. But I shall keep you updated. And we're off. services on the M25, my mother's just dropping me off, so I'm going to go and find a lift shortly. So at the service, I'm going to wander around where the, the lorries are, trying to get a lift, got my sign, <laughs> seeing if I can get a, a lift there. Trial never, been here about 10-15 minutes, just going to just wait and see, and hopefully get a lift eastbound. And make my way on the ferry tonight would be wonderful. So here's to someone picking me up, and I'm trying never lorries, so let's see. Just had a lift with a fella behind. Just got a lift with one of the guys in a lorry. I'm now at a service that's closer in Maid Maidstone, I think it is. Just outside. So I'm kind of a little bit closer. It's probably only 45 minutes maybe if I get a lift from here, hopefully onto the ferry, with maybe a truck or even a car. That would be fantastic. First one done, feel amazing. Already feeling a bit tired now. But I'm um, feeling amazing to get that first one done. I had a good old chat. It's amazing, I knew it would be, I've done it a bit before. Amazing guys, lots in common, talk to Charles and stuff, wow, it's amazing. So here we're gonna go to the toilets and let's crack on. I'm still here at the same services. It's taken a while. I've been here about maybe half an hour more, so we'll see how it goes. Been at the services an hour now and it's really test strewn away. It's kind of why I did it, it takes courage to act and with pitch hiking, it's definitely, it takes a lot. You gotta to commit to it, you gotta believe it. And little bits of fears are coming up. But I'm going left and it's starting to get later now and I want to get to, I wanted to get onto the phone over to France and as it gets later you start to think more and get into the worries so it's great after all my spiritual journey now to be out in the world in the rawest sense in the, the craziest sense in a way just to put my thumb out so to speak hold up the sign and just see where I'm going and not really have any uh, real attention to where I'm going really just trust life and I'm really reminded of that right now I feel tired and a bit hungry and I've been here for an hour and I start to lose a little bit of um, belief, you know, you start to think, oh, it's not happening. And then I reminded myself ah, of my power and my beauty and this is what life's all about. And this is the test that I throw my way. I need to be aligned. It needs to be true. I need to have courage and I need to keep acting time after time. Keep that sign up, keep the energy up. Because if I go down, the, the chances of me moving forward is, is nothing, is it? I'm here now at services in the southeast of England and the only way to get out here is to hitchhike. The only way to get to the ferry is to hitchhike. The only way to get to, get to anywhere right now is to hitchhike. So I gotta commit to it and I gotta commit to it fully. So here we go. I was just, just thinking to myself and uh, what really got me pumped back up is like something I've here before, it takes courage to act. When you've been defeated, it takes courage. And in a way, a lot of things have hit me to rock bottom in life and, and now in this moment, 
every time someone just passes, in a sense, a little bit of defeat by every minute that passes. But it takes courage to keep acting and keep acting, keep trying with the same passion and power. That's the key as well. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. It's a beautiful day, yeah. Don't let it get away. So it is now just gone half seven. I've been here since just before half two. So I've been here over five hours now. I managed to get a lift. We stood up trying to get a lift most of the time and wandering around and, and most of the time in one spot to be fair. But it hasn't worked out. I'm still at this services. Um, still about just under an hour to Calais um, drive. And I haven't managed to get a lift and it's going to be dark in... Well, it could be dark in about half an hour now. Or getting dark. Um, so I find a little wooded area. I'm just going to have to clear a bit and set my tent up and stay here tonight. Not feeling too great, not feeling very settled. Big first first day, quite a tough first day now. It's been out, it started off well and now struggling. And I've been really focused and it's been hot. And now I'm just exhausted and I didn't sleep well last night. So, And it's a big new journey and I've had quite a tough... I've just been following the channel quite a tough previous few months and yonder. Um, so I'm trying to get out and get a fresh, fresh go of it. And I chose a difficult way to do it, I suppose, on purpose. And this is what you be careful what you ask for, I suppose. So I feel quite unsettled. Um, just emotionally drained now as well. Like I say, with a lack of sleep and a busy day, and intensely trying to, f like, for five hours trying to get a lift, holding the sign up pretty much the whole time. I'm just down in like mind body. So find a little woodland at the edge of the services. I'm gonna just pop into the services and um so I can top my water up and stuff. I've got quite a bit of a team I can top stuff up. Just check it out, maybe sit in there for a little bit and then just as it's about to get dark or well soon now I have to come back out and set my tent up. And hopefully I'll be able to set that up quickly and get in and maybe I'll get to sleep by nine if it goes well. It's a little bit noisy around your cars and there's a train tracks not too far that way. But um Hopefully it ease off as it gets later and I'll be able to get a decent bit of shut eye and hopefully I'll wake up fresh and hopefully it'll take less time in the morning to get a lift. See what happens but I don't want to spend another night here so if I, I get up early and get going and we'll I'll go from there. But it's been quite the first day and I often find sometimes anyway with trips and stuff like this when you're pushing yourself, doing something big and especially when you have a difficult time in your life previously and you've been doing something completely different that I kind of knew I wasn't fully, like, in my full power, full energy, you know what I mean, coming out here, and that's kind of why I left, because I didn't feel like I was living, I needed to come out and live my best life, so to speak, and um, I felt like I needed to do something big to kickstart that after my like, rebirth, so to speak, my, but um, I'm still kind of coming into my full power now, and after a long day, I'm feeling <laughs> low power, and quite a bit emotional, but, um, yeah, I don't feel a bit vulnerable, like, you just, for a long day, and tired and whatnot, and in a strange place and it's not exactly ideal. Luckily I go, there's a little forest here, the services, so it could be a worse services definitely. But um, just embrace it and right now I'm processing a lot and trying to ah, in a way keep myself centered. But it's not easy. So I'm set up in the woods, you can see kind of maybe my tent. So it's dark, I've just got a torch shine on my face. <laughs> I am um, set up in the woods now, you, you won't be able to see, but there's the tent behind me. I've just set it up just before it's got dark. It's almost dark. I'm in the woods, so it looks darker than it actually is. There's still a bit of, little bit of blue left in the sky. But um, it's pretty much there now, night time. feel a little bit better um, getting set up. Part of me was like, just, just go home kind of thing, just go back, stop. But um, that's not what I'm here, it's not what I'm guided to do, I suppose. And um, I know I need to sleep on it and just see how I feel in the morning. And there's no decision to make tonight anyway. And um, <laughs> I don't think I'll be going back at all, but um, it has, I just want to share with you openly. It, it get a bit overwhelming. I'm, I feel really done in and like, out of my element, so to speak. And this is, I haven't done anything like this for ages. And, and uh, well, I've never done anything quite like this. <laughs> um, so I'm just, yeah, just going to embrace it tonight, try and relax and go to sleep soon if I can and wake up and tomorrow is a new day. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys.